so hope you're not forgetting anything. No, um, not at all. Let me see. Okay, you're not forgetting anything, right? My phone. Where is your phone? Oh, I have it. I have it. Okay, that's good. Um, so yes, your money. This is for your for your handouts and school expression. Oh, thank you, Mom, for always being okay. there. <laughs> what can I do? Let's go. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That reminds me. Yesterday was Father's Day. And you did not wish me Happy Father's Day. Yes, mm, don't even look, look at me like that. Don't even try it. Because I posted it on all my social media platforms. So you can't tell me that you do not know. Mom, I just didn't see a reason why I should wish you a Happy Father's Day. You're not a father, but... Oh, come on, shut up and stop talking rubbish. Don't even try. Come, come, come back here. Stay rooted. Stay rooted. What is wrong with you? No, tell me what is wrong with you. Oh, <laughs> do you think it's easy to give birth to a child and train that child single-handedly? I play the role of a father and mother to you in this house. And all you can do is to open your mouth and talk rubbish. Mom, you didn't just get me right. No, no, no. I got you right the first time. I got you crystal clear right. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> ah, Raymond. Hmm. You did not wish me a happy Father's Day. Because you think that every sperm donor is a father, right? No, tell me. That's what you think, right? In this, your small head. But tell me, what can a father do for you that I have not done in this house for you? Tell me, what can a father do in this house that I have not done in this house for you? Mom, I wasn't trying to take anything away from you. Oh, you already did. You have already done that. You have done it. Let me just tell you. By not wishing me happy Father's Day yesterday, you have done it. But you know what? I will just pretend. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But Raymond, mind yourself. Mind yourself. Oh yeah, let's start going. Let us go! You're running your mouth anyhow. Is that your fault? Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing. Hey, 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 hey. What did you say? No, no, louder. Come on, let's go. So, you know that thing you're talking about, I'm still very pissed with you. Um, you know, like, you have to understand that... Mom, what? <laughs> Jesus! What? Oh God, I knew he's a bloody Adam. I know it! I knew it! I just look at him. Looking like a drunk idiot. Let me just go take care of this. Nonsense! He must be very... No, 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 don't bother. I can handle it. I've been handling this for years. Nonsense. Mr. Man, come here. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Are you drunk? You just put at the center of the road like that? I almost hit my car because of you. Oh, you want to kill me? No, you will not kill me. You will kill yourself. Okay? Go and jump into a lagoon or hug a transformer. Bloody Adam. Nonsense. Are you crazy? At the center of the road just like that? You are mad. Idiot. Look at his face. I thought they be driving like... Like, like fools on the road. They want to just bust your car, scratch your car. And they'll, and they'll just be done anyhow. All those stupid men. Look at them. I almost hit this car now. I almost hit my car. Nonsense. Hey, did you apologize to me? Did you say sorry? Look at you. You're a big fool. You're an idiot. Look at your eyes. They're even red. You've been drinking. Nonsense. Get out! Mom. What? Why do you call every man Adam whenever you're angry? Listen, just let me drive this car in peace, please. You understand me? You didn't wish me a happy Father's Day. And I'm not forgiving you for that. Oh, Mom. You're asking me stupid questions. What is this for Father's Day alone? Oh, please get out of here. Nonsense. You, you still have. You're still talking rubbish. After all you did to me. Nonsense. 
Please, I just want to drive in peace, eh? Don't stress me. Don't stress me this morning. Do you understand me? Do not even stress me at all. so much. Not all these messages, please. Oh. You've come to remind me that I have a class for 11.30, right? Yes, sir. And also, I want to discuss something with you. Oh, really? What is it? So, yesterday was Father's Day. And my mom made this post describing herself as both the father and the mother of her child. And requested to be celebrated as one, as a father. So, like I told you, my father has been absent in my life. I don't even know him. You told me about that. Yeah, you, you did mention it. Good. So, I deliberately did not celebrate my mother as a father yesterday. And it's been making her way mad. Mm -hmm. Well, my opinion is... Uh... A father can never play the role of a mother, as well as a mother not being able to play the role of a father. Even if she gives you the whole world, she can never, ever play the part a father will. But you can give her the accolades of being a good parent, a wonderful parent. I felt the same way too, but she would feel I've done the worst of evil. Mm. <laughs> you know what, uh, hmm. my son got me very upset today. If that boy was still a kid, I would have beaten the hell out of him. Uh -uh. What did Raymond do this morning? Raymond did not even like or comment on my post on social media about the Father's Day post. But why? Because he says that I'm not his father. What nonsense. Hmm. Uh -uh. Haven't you been the one taking care of him? Playing the fatherly role in his life? Tell him. Tell him, Rita, mm -hmm. so you need to make that boy see reasons. You need to make him see that you are his father and his mother. You've tried for him now. You've been doing so many things for, for him since he was a child. You better act smart before that spam donor comes and claim your child. God forbid. Yes, oh God forbid. That will never happen. Not on my watch. <laughs> this guy will not be enough for both of us to even be in. Yes, yes so. He will never happen. Uh -uh. After all my suffering for how many years, we just come from nowhere and claim what? <laughs> uh. Hi, Raymond. Hi, P. What's up? You kept me waiting. I'm very sorry. I went to the office. Oh, okay. Can we go now? Sure. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Ah, that was a time on me. I'm so sorry. What's this in your mind? I like this. It's not a business. Thank you for accepting to one of my invitations tonight. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. I mean, it's business, right? So. You look. Beautiful tonight. Very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
Mr. DK, you talked about uh, your connection with the sole distributorship of the Big Nanny product in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Rita, tell yeah. me, how do you unwind after days hustling and bustling? Of course, we all know how busy Lagos can be and very stressful, I must add. How do you unwind? Well, I, I just go home and... <laughs> Lay on my bed after the hectic day of work. Interesting. Yeah. As for me, I, I go for swimming. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you swim? Oh, no, I I don't swim. Mr. TK, you've not answered the question about the sole distributorship of the Big Nanny product oh, I just that, talked about. Oh, that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, about that, I'm going to give you a number to call. Yeah, the person is in a better position to give you all the information you need regarding this business. Yes, for now, let's talk about something else. About what? I like you. I like you as a person. And I would want to get to know you better. You really appeal to me. That's the word. Mr. Dickey, I came here to discuss business and I appreciate that you stop eating on me, okay? Rita, you need to calm down. <laughs> if I wanted to discuss on the business with you, I would have asked you to come to my office. Listen, we are both adults and yeah, I called you. I told you to come here because I wanted us to get to know ourselves more. I I like you as a person, like I said, and I would want to be you better and be your friend. Anyway, I knew that I just wasted my time coming here. No. Excuse me. Rita. Rita. Are you trying to do? <laughs> so you think that uh, all this thing will raise what you did to me today? Eh? Nah, that you don't know who your mother is. Oh, you don't know what you did today. You're asking me questions. Eh? Did you wish me happy Father's Day? Did you? So go and ask these questions to the person that you want to wish happy Father's Day. Henceforth, no more questions. Mom. What? Why bring up this mother again? Listen, I have washed my hands of anything that concerns fatherly role to you. Okay? Go and find the person that will take responsibility as a father henceforth. Do you understand me? Mom. What? I appreciate everything you do for me. Yeah. Is that what you have to Mom, say? You're the best. I love you, dearly. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you have to say, Abby. What problem. Else it's I say? fine. It's no problem. You didn't wish me happy Father's Day. I think I've for uh, forgiven you. I've not forgiven you. Just good. Hey, mom. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of inviting a friend of mine here for dinner soon. And who is this friend of yours? Mr. Mike. He's my lecturer in school, a friend and also a mentor. So, why do you want to invite him here? Mm, I think just to deepen our friendship. 
You can't do that. I will not allow such persons into my home. Why? Why? Yeah, but why? Raymond, have you ever seen me with an any male friend in this house? No. Have you ever seen a male relative in this house? No. I sent you to school to read your books and have good grades and not gallivanting all over the place and making friends up and down. But mom, so I just is also part of education. You didn't just send me to school to acquire academic knowledge, but also to be imparted with sound moral values and other valuable lessons that will aid me as I journey through life as a man. <laughs> Wait, come on. Am I the one that you're speaking all this plenty, plenty grammar? Oh, mom, I was just trying to make my point. You have no point to make. Do you understand me? No point. You still haven't told me why. Why? Yeah, you okay, haven't fine. told me why. I don't like men. That's why. I don't like them. The only time I can associate with a man is just for business reasons or business relationships. And that's it. In other words, you hate me too? Oh, shut up. You're my son. I can't possibly hate you. But I'm a man. You're a different man. You're my flesh and blood. Okay. Why do you hate me? I can't answer that question. No, Mom. I need to know the reason why my own mother hates men. I said. I can't answer that question. Mom, I insist. Like, how would you feel if other women go on saying they hate men, including me too? Do you really want to know? Exactly. You want to really know? That's the reason, I mean. I was raised by a single mother and I saw the constant abuse, humiliation that my mom went through in the hands of this ruthless man. I saw it all. <laughs> my mom had an ailment. She is ill and during her constant visits to the hospital, when this man came around, you know what they did to me? Mm -hmm. You want to know? This man. Those men constantly abused me. They molested me every single day my mom wasn't around. And I could not even tell my mom about it. Do you know why? I didn't want to lose her. I didn't want to lose my mom, so I kept that a secret. Then I had to go to the streets to fend for my mother so I could take care of her while she was in the hospital. Those ruthless men, those men on the streets, 
they abused me. They molested me. They did all kinds of things to me. All kinds of things to me. And I couldn't tell my mother. One of those days, my mom came back from the hospital. She saw her then boyfriend molested me. And that shattered my mom. That broke my mom. And that was one of the reasons my mom passed. She was broken. Then I met your father. I met your father. And I thought in my head that I have met my light and shining armor that I met my king of kings I told your father everything that I've been through in this hands of this ruthless man I told him everything I know my father did my father gave him the worst betrayal of my life I wonder if I would change you. What did you just say? I said I'm pregnant for you. Rita, again? How could you allow this stupid thing to happen again? But you intentionally get pregnant now. We had sex and then it happened. Silly excuses every time. Anyways, get ready to abort this pregnancy because I'm not ready to be a father yet. Abortion again? Uh, come on, Ken, now. We are not ready for this pregnancy now. Let's get an abortion. Because we're getting married in December, which is a few months from now. I don't like this, Ken. The thought of abortion really scares me. But you've done it before now. Well, that doesn't make it any less difficult. I don't understand. Then get ready to be a single parent. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Okay. So get into something good so we could get the abortion, okay? <sighs> How are you doing here? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How are your wife and children? Hmm? I don't understand. What wife and I don't I don't get what's she talking about? Okay, who is she to you? And what's going on here? Who is she to you? I don't understand. I can say something. Ken is my husband to be. I'm even carrying his child as we speak. Hey. I don't understand. What, no, no, you must be a joker. Ken, she said the truth. <laughs> because Ken here has three kids and he's already married. What? He even just gave birth to his last child a few weeks ago. Ken! So you both are the joker. Say, this woman, no, what is this woman saying? Ken. I don't understand. She's saying the truth. Honey, what is going he on is here? He's my husband to be. We're supposed to get married in December. What is all this? Your husband. Ken, say, say something. Ken, don't look stupid you like this. You are a this disappointment. Is... You are a big disgrace. Ken. Oh my goodness! After how many abortions? Where are you going to? Don't go anywhere! Can't say something now! Is this supposed to be a joke? After how many abortions? Can't say something now! You can't leave me like this! What is this? What do I do with my life? Oh, please! Ken! You're burying me! You're burying me! Ken! How could you? Oh my god! And that was not all. You know, his friends, 
They knew about all of this. They knew about everything. They knew he was a married man. And It's just the constant lies, you know, like they, they protected him. They all protected him and lied to me. Every time they saw me, they were constantly saying, our wife, our wife, our wife. I was pregnant for you when I found out. I found out about the lies. I suffered. I suffered. All my dreams shattered. All my plans shattered. All my hopes shattered. Just because of your father. <sighs> I hate men. I hate them so much. I hate them with everything that I have. I hate them. I hate them. So tell me, Raymond. Tell me. If you were in my shoes and I've been through all I have been through, tell me. Won't you hate me? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you've been through all this. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Enjoying the food? You like? That's really good. <laughs> That's always preferable for me whenever I want to eat out. Mm. Yeah. But I think Anita's place is way better. More, well, I understand. Anita is your friend and she gets stuff from you, so you think you owe her one too? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it's not true. Anita's place is way better. And I mean, I don't owe her anything. Besides, her food is tastier and her place is more classier. And that reminds me. We'll be going to the cinema next week, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Right? Yes, mom. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you see that? Wow. Oh, your team is playing today. Eat your food. <laughs> Don't distract me with football match today. Please eat your food. Do you want to do with that information? Um, I just want to know if he's a friend, a lover, or an admirer. What? Listen, Raymond, <laughs> you're still a boy. I can't be having that conversation with you. That's not entirely true, Mom. The thing is, you actually need a man in your life. What? Yes, you absolutely need a man in your life. And I think. You've been a poor judge of character and been annoyingly too choosy. So, I want to come in and help you make the choice of a good man. Raymond. Well, I will assess him, investigate him, and give my analysis an informed opinion on his person. With this arrangement, I think you wouldn't make the wrong choice. Raymond, if you still want me to drop you at school, you'd better meet me in the car. Let's go! Mom! Yeah? 
Let's try this for a month. Just let me have this Mr. DK guy investigated. And trust me, I'll give you my honest findings. Shut up. I don't need a man. But mom, every woman needs a man. You've been all yourself ever since I was born. I think it's high time you let go and... Uh... Keep quiet, Raymond. Mom, think about it. I understand how terribly fractured your heart is right now. But you know from a man can still find you. Don't mind those your bitter friends that go home saying men are scum. Raymond. Mom, there are still beautiful men with beautiful hearts out there. Have I slapped you before? You never did. Okay, this will be the first time I will slap if you don't keep quiet. Mom! Are you mad? Are you crazy? Mom! I was, I'm gonna give you a dirty slap. Oh, you're laughing. It's funny, right? I don't blame you. So, um, that other blue outfit that I wanted to uh, the top with the hood. We're gonna get that next week. We can't even buy everything today because. Wait, 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 wait. What is wrong with you? Do you have blindness happening to your eyes? Eh? Mom. Are you stupid? Mom, you ran into him. I think you should apologize. What? Me apologize? Even if he has a thousand demons behind him, he should apologize to me. Mom. What? To be honest, you're wrong. I'm wrong? What do you know about being wrong or right? Huh? What do you know about being wrong or right? Come on, get into the car. Nonsense. Are you coming or not? You want to stand there? Okay, stay there. Go on, go and become the sales boy in the store. What, what do you know about being wrong or right? Oh, Raymond. Oh yes, uh, I am going out. But you know, I can give you a few minutes if you want. Alright, I think so. Okay, sit. So sir, I was having a conversation with my mother this morning. And she said she doesn't need a man anymore. Mm -hmm. You think she needs a man? Of course. Why? Look, sir. My mother has never been married before. She had me out of wedlock. She's still in her early 40s. And she's still very beautiful. That's all? Listen, Raymond. If your mother says she doesn't need a man, then she doesn't need a man. What are you going to have her do? Are you going to force a man on her? Look, these things should come to her naturally and not by coercion. Do you understand? to talk. <laughs> a talk? Okay. What do you want to talk about? Could you at least offer me a seat first? No, no, no. I do not entertain social visits in my boutique. Oh. Okay, then perhaps we could go somewhere else and talk. <sighs> Mr. Dickey, get out. Rita, you need to calm down and hear me out first. Uh, do not tell me to calm down. Listen, I do not want to disrespect you. And I hate to repeat myself. Okay? So, Mr. DK, get out. Hmm. Do you know your beauty are to like the crystals when you're upset? <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> 
True confession, I, I have fallen in love with you. Get out. Get out. Rita, you need to calm down and hear me. Get out. Rita. Get out! Get out! Get out! Rita. I said she would get out right now. Falling in love with you. Okay. Ivy, sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, please. It's not a good thing to keep a woman waiting. That's the reason for the apology. It's not a good thing to keep anyone waiting. Not just the women alone. I beg, I beg, I beg. Who is going to protect your interest? <laughs> Let's go. Sure. But I have a meeting with Mr. Mike in the next 30 minutes. Hmm. Look at this, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike likes you. Me and you cannot fail our course. Uh, we not fail to us. I don't know who Mr. Mike is. If I should score a zero in Mr. Mike's exam, he's gonna give you, will not be in any way alter that result. He's gonna give me zero. I hear you. That's by the way, that's good. Mr. Mike and you. Five to six. It's better. Like, I'm tired. You kept me waiting for so long. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. What are you doing? Yes, um, I like the texture, the, the filter. Oh, this is really nice. Yes, it is. Hi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Girl, hmm. I was visibly mad at him. <laughs> if he had refused to leave, I would have done something terrible to him. To think that that guy might even have a wife somewhere, but he's running after you and running his wide mouth at the top. Tell me about it. That gender, oh my God, it's crazy. Like men, <laughs> oh, God help them. <laughs> I swear, see, I pity any woman that would trust a man. Men, don't trust them. Oh, any woman that trusts a man, disaster awaits that woman. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you know what? I don't need a man. Honestly, I don't need them for anything. I mean, why do I even need them? I have a successful business. Mm -hmm. I have a house of my own. I have a son. What do I need a man for? Tell me. Nothing. What do I really need a man for? <laughs> Nothing. But come to think of it, what if your honey, maybe your mid sex, or Girl, something? I pay for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get it really, really good. Mm. Yes. The only time I need a man is for a business relationship. And that is it. That's it. Sounds oh, great. Girl, <laughs> chest to that. <laughs> I'll definitely take the black. Green is my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me look for something to match it up. Yes. This, right? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. Perfect. Where did we take? Who's paying? I'm, I'm paying and you're picking. Alright. Of course. You have to look good for me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, are we done? Okay, just one more shot. No black. White. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thank you for shopping. You're welcome. Yes, 
<laughs> that was so good. So yeah, that's all. Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right. <clears throat> um. So I hope you guys enjoyed your shopping. Oh yes, we are. Okay. Actually. Okay. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have all my cards, so I'll just make a transfer. Not good. All right, please confirm. Okay, let me confirm for my boss. Thank you. Now, please confirm the payment. I just did. Okay, okay. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Careful. Right. Okay, bye. 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 Just wait, let me get it. Okay, thank you. So you have to look all the empty spaces? Okay, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Is this your phone? No, ma'am. Oh. oh, I think the woman to, that just yeah. left, that's a phone. I'm sorry, my sister left the phone. Oh, I was just talking to my girl about it now. Oh. Sorry. That girl, she can forget her name. <laughs> It happens sometimes. I know. Yes. I actually thought um, she's your wife. My wife? Yes. Oh, she's actually my sister. My only sister. Oh, I see. She only came shopping with me today because today is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> and by the way, you have very good stuff. Thank you. Um, we sell only quality stuff and we restock every other day. I see. I'll come back again during the weekend. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for shopping. You're welcome. And I hope everything fits and you like them. Of course, I'll give you feedback. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. So, um, today's we're going to have to get those Okay. okay. Good evening. Um, this is Rita's house, right? Mm, yes. Who are you? Just help me tell her that Mr. DK is here to see her. Is she expecting you? I mean, does she know you're coming? Not really. I just wanted to surprise her. Raymond? Who is that? What? <laughs> what are you doing here? And how did you find my place? Oh my, I came by to see you, pretty one. Are you shameless? Or you're just downright stupid? Oh, Rita, 
All I need from you is to listen to me. Hear me out, please. Get out of my house. Rita, please, calm down and hear me out, please. <laughs> I said get out of my house right now. And Raymond, do not ever allow this man into this house ever again. Do you understand me? No, it, it, it hasn't gotten to that. If you're not comfortable having me in your house, how about we just go elsewhere and sit and talk? <laughs> Get out of my house right now. I mean, if you don't have self-respect, you don't deserve any from me, okay? Excuse me! Mom, mom. Get out. You need to calm down, please. You want him to leave there? Yes, I want him right yeah, now. He's going to leave. So please don't touch him. Okay. Get out of my house right now. Yeah, he's going to leave. And don't you ever come back again. Do you understand me? It's fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll be absolutely I'll do it. Get out! Please now. Get out. No. Get out now. Get out! I'm sorry for my mother's outburst. My name is Raymond. That's all right. Nice to meet you, Raymond. Thanks, sir. Um, I think you got it all wrong coming to see my mother here unannounced. I mean, you should have told her you were coming. Even though I know she wouldn't welcome you. How old are you? I'm 90, sir. Mm, great. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, take care. Yeah. Be a good boy. Good night. So what were you doing out there? I felt it needed to be told the truth. What truth? Coming here to see you unannounced wasn't the right move. Listen, Raymond. You don't have to get yourself involved in all of this. Do you understand me? Whether wrong or right move is none of your business. Hmm. Well, he seems into you. Is he your speck? Oh, mom. <laughs> Even if you don't need the man, don't you think I need a father figure in this house? What stupid father figure do you need? I need a father figure. Oh, you need a father figure? You're serious, right? Okay, no problem. It's fine. Since you need a father figure, do you know what you're going to do? You will leave this house eh? and go and erect your own father figure so you can be seen it every day. Nonsense. You need a father figure. Listen, this boy, you're trying me. I've told you. I'm playing a fatherly role and a motherly role to you in this house. Don't take me for granted. And I don't hear that kind of stupid fatherly figure you, you, you're always telling me. Nonsense. Fatherly figure, my, my. How do I convince him to see me as a mother and father figure at the same time? How do I convince him that I am a father figure to him? How? How do I convince her that she needs a man in her life? Yeah, she needs a man to love her and make her feel like a woman. Enough of this are trying to be a woman and a man at the same time.
How many shirts do we have here? Let me make it ten. this we also have trousers oh about two weeks ago i just got a dozen of them so i think i'll just take the shirts for now okay it's fine yes. <laughs> it's fine uh, thank you so much for patronizing us you're welcome mrs who miss rita miss rita mm -hmm. i thought you were married <laughs> you thought so yes i'm not married i don't just... hmm. Nice place you got once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a regular, you know. Thank you so much for always coming here. <laughs> and I will buy more. Oh, thank you. I forgot something. Oh, something okay? Yes, I forgot to get your number. Oh, oh okay. I hope you don't mind. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. There you go. Okay. All right, I'll give you a call. Okay, take care. All right. Should I what? Um, put that um, code on the system. Because you're not the right man for her. What? From my investigation so far, I notice women are just your plaything. And that's not the kind of person I want for my mother. I want a serious man for her. What nonsense are you talking about? I know exactly what I'm talking about. Just like I know the reason why you are here. Tell me, why am I here? See, the thing is I've been keeping it close on you for some time now. My mother is too big to be your plaything. So please let her be. Please. Do like that. No, talk to me about what? Oh, never mind. Where's Doris? In the bathroom. I need her to hurry up now. Why? I thought we were here to sleep over. Yes, but we need to change this room. A boy just found out about our little acting, so I need us to leave this room. If possible, change the hotel. 
Doris, please hurry up, please. We need to get out of this place. Who is this boy? Never mind. Okay, let me just get my things. Raymond? Good evening, Mom. Where are you coming from? I want to see a friend. Okay. Mom, can we talk? What are we talking about? Um, how much do you know, Mr. Nikkei? And how is that your business? Well, I thought I should let you know that he has a worrisome weakness as a man. Mm. And to that extent, he's not the kind of man you would be proud to be associated with. What in God's name are you talking about? What I'm saying is, Mr. DK doesn't know what he wants from a woman yet. Please, don't let him into your space. Firstly, no man is coming into my space. And secondly, you should be more concerned about your studies and make that your first priority and business. I'm not talking about any man coming into my space or not. Raymond, focus on your studies and leave my space, please. Um, the food is in the kitchen. I dished your food out already. Go get it. All right, I'm so hungry. You should be. Did you eat at your friend's space? No. Okay. Hello, Miss Rita. Hello. Good morning. Good this morning. is Mr. Mike, your new customer. Oh, okay. I think I remember the voice. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. And you? I am okay. Um, I was thinking we should have lunch today, you know, after work. Why? I mean, is there anything you want to discuss? I mean, there's a lot of things we could discuss. Oh, really? Yes. Well, if it's a business discussion, then I'll be open to doing the lunch with you. But if it's personal, it won't happen. Well, the truth is I actually like you and um, I would like to get to know you better. I don't keep male friends. All I do is male business associates um all right if that is the case i guess i will talk to you another time okay bye have a nice day raymond good morning, sir. good morning you did excellently well in my quiz the other time thank you so much sir you're welcome yep, sir um, i have a lecture in the next 10 minutes i just came so i could ask you for a favor all right shoot Okay, sir. So, I want to be inviting you for dinner at my house tonight. I really would want you to meet with my mom. I wish you become a family friend and not just my own friend. A family friend? Yes, sir. Um... All right, then. Thank you so much, sir. What time? Let's say 8 p.m. 8 p.m. See you then. All right, thank you so much, sir. I got to go now. All right, sure. Don't forget to text me the address. Raymond, <laughs> what are you doing? Surprised, right? Oh yes, I'm surprised. Well, I'm cooking. Dinner will soon be ready. <laughs> Wait, 
<laughs> You're cooking. Yeah. When did you start preparing dinner? Um, let's say today. Oh. Okay, so what is going on and who is this special person? Let me see what are you cooking though? No, 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 no. no. Uh, <laughs> look at my boy, you. Okay, someone special is coming for dinner. Are you serious? Someone yeah. special? So who is this someone special? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're laughing. Oh, <laughs> Raymond, you have a girlfriend. Raymond, you have a girlfriend. And you're bringing her for dinner to introduce her to me, right? Mom, why don't you wait for the person to get here? Then I will do the ah. introduction. <laughs> okay, so what are you cooking? Can Mom, I... <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So what are you cooking? I'm not telling you. When it's ready, you see. Okay, fair enough. No yeah. problem. It's fine. But whatever you're cooking, make sure that it is very tasty. All right? It's good. It's okay. Mom, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, just go ahead. All right. Chef oh, Chef Raymond is in the kitchen. Yeah, mom. <laughs> okay, catch you later. Raymond, yeah, what's going on? Where is your guest? She's not here yet. She's not here yet? Why have you not called her to find out if she's coming? Oh, someone else. Oh, okay. I think you should be coming. Okay. Welcome, sir. Hi, Raymond. Welcome, sir. Please come with me. What's this? No. What are you doing here? You're, you're his mother. You both know each other. Yes. We do. Yes, we do. <laughs> this guy's funny. That's actually Sorry. very funny. <laughs> Wow, like <laughs> the guy is no serious That's at all. Cool. <laughs> wow, wait, oh, it's getting late. You really have to leave now. You know, I didn't even want you to come in the first place. My sister will soon be back, and you know, she'll not like it to meet you here. I can't stay without you. It's just not done now. Please don't share me out. Okay, I could give you anything just to be with you. Okay, but. But. But what? No buts, please. Okay? Stop no buts, please. No, come on. <laughs> please leave. Yes. Mom? Please leave. Mom. He's my lecturer. Everything for dinner. I don't care. Can you leave my house right now? <laughs> you invited me for lunch and I refused. And you had the guts to come into my house. No, listen. It's not even like that. I had no idea that you are his mother. Please leave my house right now. Mom. You're getting all wrong. No. I invited him so he can come and then so he would be a family friend. That is never going to happen. Do you understand me? That is not going to happen. Leave my house right now. Raymond, see you tomorrow. Leave. I'm very sorry. I'm leaving. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Sit your butt and let's have dinner. Sit down. Nonsense. 
I've warned you severally about all those things. Stop inviting men to this house. Hatred, hatred, hatred. It's making her lose her mind. Ah. That man that you brought to the house last night? Oh, mm. my lecturer. He's a friend. Mm. He's a very good man. Why did you bring him to this house last night? Um, not very much. I just want you there to be friends. He's a very fine gentleman. Very unmarried. Mm. I mean, even though he was, but he's divorced. And he's currently. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Raymond. Shut up your dirty mouth. So, you want to match make me with a man? Oh, no, Mom. <laughs> hmm. The thing is, you need a man. Oh. I mean, look around you. You've done so well for yourself. Hmm. You're rich. You have a beautiful house. Hmm. You own a business of your own. The only thing that remains is a man in your life. And I've investigated Mr. Mike. He's very clean and he'll make a perfect match for you. Mom. If I slap you, if I give you a dirty slap, if I slap you, Raymond, this is the last time you'll bring a man into this house. Do you understand me? If you try it again, if you try it again, Raymond, We really need to talk. We need to sit down and talk. Your hatred for men because of what my father did to you doesn't still change the fact that you need a man in your life. Hey, you're talking back at me. Eh? You are talking back at me. Ah, you are just lucky that I've been home. You're so lucky today. It's your lucky day. Nonsense. Investigate. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry for what happened last night. I'm sorry. Like, it wasn't my intentions. My intention was to introduce you to my mother. I never knew you both knew each other. It's okay, Raymond. Actually, I visited her boutique some days back and I got her number. I invited her for lunch, actually, but she declined. <laughs> You're even lucky she declined. Why? Look. Sometimes my mother becomes very violent whenever it comes to men. Mm. Yeah, I just hope someday she realizes the importance of men in her life. Why would you say that? Look, I think you should leave things like that to fate. Fate will decide. Okay? Okay. Let's work with that. All right then. And there are So, Mom, mm -hmm. I got this for you. Okay. I hope you like it anyways. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go there. Mmm. That's good, yeah? How I like it. Right. Very good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I want the berry, this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. um. <laughs> Really like it, though. Mm, I like it. Okay, happy. Of course, you make me happy. Why? Of course. Okay, mom. Make me really happy. Can you imagine Mr. Mike doing this? You know, men are kind of important in their own way. Raymond. I wouldn't be the one doing this all the time.
Hi, Miss Peter. Hi. Hi. So what's the total? Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I'll just go get my Christmas Oh, you can use my card. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. No, no, you can't do that. You can't. Oh, I... I, I don't appreciate such gestures. Oh, I, I meant no disrespect. I, I was just trying to be nice. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my lady. I know. You don't call me that. That's very disrespectful. I'm not your lady. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disrespect you. Sorry for yourself. Um, excuse me, I'll be right back. Hi, Miss Rita. Um, I saw the anger in your face while you were addressing me inside of the supermarket. And I kind of figured out it was because of the visit the other night. And I'm sorry about that. I only felt it's, it's you know, right that I clarify things. There is nothing to clarify, okay? Just try not to get within my personal space. I will be fine. Miss Rita. The only reason why I tried to pay for your stuff in there is because number one, you weren't with your card. And secondly, your son is my friend. And third, I like you. <laughs> Don't you ever bring my son into all of this. Do you understand me? Don't do that ever again. You understand? I don't have time for men like you and your games. So stay out of my way, all right? Hear me clearly. Excuse me. Ah, how are you, Stella? Thank God you are here because I am losing it. Ah, losing it. What's the problem? It's my son. Raymond? Yes. What about Raymond? Can you imagine that, that, that boy is trying to match me with his lecturer in school? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, but wait, really? Yes, and that one saw me in the supermarket and decided to just come from nowhere to pay for my things. What, what nonsense is this? So, so what did you do? Trust me now. <laughs> I, I just told him off. Okay, that's nice. I trust you, but wait. You said Raymond is trying to match make you with a man? Can you imagine? This boy of yesterday. Hey, hey. I, I don't even understand. He's trying to... Hey, God, this boy. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. I don't know. What was he trying to prove? Okay. Now, <laughs> like this, this whole thing is very funny. Uh -huh. So what did he say is his reason? I don't know. I don't know. This... As children of these days, oh my god. I so far though. See Raymond though. Look at me. Man. Hello Raymond, how are you? I'm good. Okay. Ah, oh, long day, I'm so tired. Ah, Raymond. Hello. Mr. Matchmaker. <laughs> That's your, your lecturer. I don't know the stunt he tried to pull today. You should never try it again. Because there are things I do not condone from people. Not even you, my son. I have a <laughs> I don't know what you told that lecturer. I don't know what you said to him. <laughs> but next time he pulls that cheap stunt to attract my attention, he will not find this funny ever again. Okay? You should never do that anymore. Just tell him that I said that. All right?
Hello, sir. Hi, Raymond. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? Yes, I'm good. Sir, did you have an encounter with I her? did see her at the supermarket and I tried to pay for some stuff she got, you know, because she wasn't with her card and uh, she took it the wrong way and she well, fled up. She just said she tried getting her attention today. And I think she likes you, though. <laughs> likes me. I seriously doubt that. You should have seen the look on her face when she saw me. <laughs> Why? Why are you dressed to go out? I thought we were supposed to leave at 8 p.m. Uh, Mom, sorry. I think we have to reschedule. What? I'll join Vanessa to a friend's birthday party tonight. What? So you're going to pick someone else's birthday party over my outing with you? Mom, it's not just because of someone's birthday party. Vanessa will be attending the birthday party tonight and she asked me to be with her. And being a person of interest to me, I have to oblige her that. So you're gonna choose Vanessa over your mother? Really? Mom, I don't like it when you talk like that. Okay, tomorrow is Sunday. Let's go to the beach. Oh, she's here already. Let me get down. Hi, V. <laughs> Stay safe, Mom. But um, I thought we were supposed to go out together today. Mm, let's do it next week. Oh, okay. Um, it's fine. It's okay. Okay. Um, take care. It's fine. Everything is going smoothly. The sales has been very good today, actually. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of calls. Hello, babe. What's up? No, I'm not home. I'm at the shop with Bob. You want to see me right now? All right, I'll be with you shortly. Bye right, bye. Where are you going to? I thought you were supposed to spend time with me today. Um, yeah, Mom, but Vanessa needs me surely. And I don't need you. Oh, Mom. I can't keep on taking the path of a man in your life. Me, I've chosen my own path, though. Me, I don't know for you. What do you mean by that? Mom, I'll see you shortly. I'll be right back. Why the school management will decide to impose such headache on students this time around? That's school. That's school that they're not thinking at all. Like, it literally makes no sense increasing the school fees by 70%. We have to do something about this school fees hike. Because the last time was very difficult for my parents to even pay my school fees. And now, they've added 70%. At this rate, I'm going to drop out of school. No, 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 no. you're not dropping out. 
That's not going to happen. I'm scared. I'm scared that's what will happen. Except that protest takes place. And I said the authority does something about it. For sure. The protest is definitely going to happen. There's no going back about it. They said the school management decided to shift their ground. I hope so. Yeah, it will happen. Let's look here. Shadewa, um, come and take stock of the new items. Hello? Please come to Destiny Hospital. There's a situation. What? Just come to the hospital now, please. Jesus. Okay. Shadewa! Shadewa! Doctor. Okay, where is the doctor? Where is he? The doctor's coming soon. Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's alright. Okay, doctor. Um, he's fine. Nothing too serious. It's just a thin partial fracture of the bone. Um, otherwise known as um the hairline fracture. Okay. So it's nothing serious. He'll be fine. Okay. Can right. I see him now? Yeah, can we see him? Um, he's resting at the moment. So um, and he needs enough rest. So the nurses will let you know when it's right to see him, okay? Okay. But I assure you, he's fine. Nothing to worry. He's fine. Okay? okay. All right. So okay. we'll see you guys later. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Doctor, why did hey, you see him? Hey, just calm down, okay? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he needs enough rest, okay. so I put him to sleep. Um, I don't want anyone disturbing him because he needs enough rest. Okay. All right, let me go see your um, other patient. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Don't worry, the doctor said he will be fine. He will be fine. Mm -hmm. Well, hi. I have to go now. Thank you so much for everything. It's really appreciated. Um, I'm going to take care of yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good Are you getting better? Yeah, I'm still having some pains. Don't worry, you feel fine soon. Okay. Sorry about that. Hey. I'm just a bit tired. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You? Oh, well, it's fine. I'm just tired, but I'm I'm okay. I know. Mm -hmm. You haven't had any rest since last night. Mm -hmm. You know what, why don't you go home, rest, refresh yourself, and let me take over from here. So kind of you. Thank you. Um, do you want anything? She said it's a very sad chicken. Chicken and what? And some juice. Yeah. Raymond, you have to be strong for your mother, okay? Oh, Vanessa, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, Raymond, I'm so sorry. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm better. I'm glad. 
wrote this for you. I hope you recover soon. you want to eat? I'm good. Are you Give sure? Yeah. Anything? Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Alright. Sorry. Thank God. Mm. God is so great. God is awesome. What if the injury was more than that? Mm -hmm. Exactly. What Mr. Mike said. But that's Mr. Mike. He really tried, though. Yes, he did, actually, you know. <laughs> he actually did. My son said that um, for my son to even be able to call him when he had the injury just means that he trusts him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And he didn't disappoint. He didn't disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my son said that, that when he had the bad injury, he said, mm -hmm. who would I even call? that would just come to the campus and pick me up. And guess Aww. what? Mr. Mike came to mind. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yes. I like men that are reliable. He is reliable and very, very useful. Very useful. <coughs> <coughs> this is unbelievably coming from you, Rita. What's that? Ha! <laughs> okay, oh. <coughs> Do you want water? Sorry, <laughs> I don't. Oh, oh, oh. Do, you want, do you want to drink water? <laughs> Raymond. Hey, yeah, dinner will soon be ready, okay? Okay. Mom, I wanted to tell you that I invited Mr. Mike to come do dinner with us tonight. But he said he would be that he would get back to me that he's in a meeting. So why are you just telling me now? You know I should have told you earlier. I'm sorry. But mom, I like that man. He has taught me a lot of things. He's a good man, and he's like a father to me. Okay, well, what can I have to do? Uh, nothing, nothing. Dinner will soon be ready, okay? You sure? Yes, yes. Shush, go. Right. Go. What's wrong with you? It's Mr. Mike. So what's going on with Mr. Mike? He refused to honor my dinner invites. Why? Well, he said he doesn't want the repeat of the last time. He doesn't want to come and then he will end up feeling bad about it. Okay, fine. So just call him, dial his number, and give me the phone. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Set you one more, do anything that will make her be angry with you. 
Um, no, this is not Raymond. This is his mother. Oh. Rita, how, how, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. Um, so, your friend here, <laughs> he's upset and angry that you turned down his invitation. Raymond and his wala. Yeah, so I... I want to say that um, I want to ask if you can do me a favor and come for dinner tonight. Wow. Okay. As long as you're invited. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. So see you soon. Bye. Mm-hmm. Are you coming? Yes, he's coming. Are you happy now? <laughs> Don't worry, he's coming, okay? Alright, All right, so let me go check what's on fire. Alright? Cheer up! <laughs> for this wonderful opportunity. Please God, touch the heart of my mother to be softened. Remove every hatred she has for men and replace it with excess love. And Lord, please grant her the grace to accommodate opposite views and make great friendships spring up between them. Amen. Yeah. Why did you say that? Come and take a look at Raymond. He's everything any father would want in a son. He's intelligent, he's brilliant, he's charming, and he's well behaved. I have two daughters from my field marriage. And I wish someday I do have a son like him. Really? Yes, of course. Mm. You know, because of how much of his mind is, I sometimes tease him and I tell him he's an old man stuck in a young boy's skin. <laughs> you know what? You're not the only one that says this. Everyone says that. A lot of people do. You know when I took notice of him in class? So there was this day he made me question if he was my lecturer or I was his. <laughs> Do you want to hear the gist? Of course. Let me give it to you. Okay. So one time in class we were trying to solve the question, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't get the answers right. Okay. And then he got it. <laughs> really? Yes, and I think I made I made a slight error with the with the equation I was trying to, you know, put together and mm. he just called me out. It's very obvious this Mr. Mike has a very good influence on my son. He's a very nice person, no doubt. 
but this relationship with my son baffles me. My son likes him a lot. And he likes Raymond too. Even wished he was his son. There is this aura of peace, security and positivity around him. He seems very much different from the regular man on the street. Come in. Come in. Mom. Hello, Mom. Mom, did you notice anything tonight? Like what? Like, you didn't notice Mr. Mike is in love with you. Fremont. Mom, that's true. It's there in his body language. Um, count all those um, shirts, the new shirts and the new pants and take records. Um, the white one, put the white ones together and the other colors together. Okay. Hi, Miss Rita. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. You're looking good. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank oh. you so much. So you came to patronize us? Yes, I did. But before then, I would love to ask of a favor. Oh, okay. What is it? Please let me take you out for lunch. Um. Hello. Mm -hmm. Look, I... I know it's not your thing, okay? But I'm begging you, just one day. Please. Okay, um... <laughs> you've actually earned it, so... I have? Yes, you've earned it. <laughs> That's a good one. Tell me what's on your mind. You know, it's... It's the first time in 19 years that I've actually been on a date with a man. I know. You do? Yes. Everything. <laughs> Raymond told me. Oh my God, I knew it. That little rascal. What has been saying about me? Well, he has told me a lot, but there's still a lot that I don't know, and that's why we're here. Look, I... I just want to be there for you when you're born. I hope... I... I hope you're not offended. I mean, no, I, I don't just know where to start. I don't know where to... To start, you know, it's just a lot of things that happened in my past that I... Well, I mean, I would say it is better to share it and I might perhaps be of help and walk with you through the healing journey. I mean, if you don't mind, of course. Okay, um, actually, his name, his name is Ken. Um, I was a 21 naive girl who fell in love with him because, I mean, he was handsome and he had this charming smile <sighs> that any girl my age, any young girl will fall for. I, 
I gave him everything. I, I loved him so much and gave him so much loyalty. And he gave me nothing in return. Everything was written on the wall. Your handwriting was everywhere, but I was blinded. I couldn't even see it right in front of me. Funny? So funny! <laughs> you made me laugh so. How oh, I like it when you laugh. Oh my god, you do! Yes, I do, of course. Oh, hi, Mo. Oh, my hi, boy. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm great, I'm good. <laughs> Raymond, how was school today? Oh, awesome. Oh. Did you get chased by the girls? Oh. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I know that he's hungry. You're hungry, right? So go into the kitchen and just dish yourself anything. Where yeah, are you guys going to? Mm. Um. Okay, we're going to the beach first, mm -hmm. then the cinema. Oh, wow. Yes. In that case, I will join you guys. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 you're not joining us, no way. You know, two is company and three is a crowd. Actually, I agree with you, Mom. <laughs> but I do have a suggestion. Why don't I take Vanessa out? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Yes. Good idea. Well, I'm going to go in there mm -hmm. and have a well-deserved nap. Good idea. Have fun, guys. Okay, bye, darling. Oh, yeah. see you later. Bye. So go eat something, okay? Eat, eat all the food in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>